You might like Wonder Woman, but here's a bunch of people who hated it. Just no. Just no. DC just didn't improve despite somehow good reviews. How does it feel to be the odd man out and just not getting it? Or how does it feel to be wrong? Asking for a friend. The plot is very common and scenes were cliche. Someone died by taking a bullet to save Wonder Woman. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that means you don't like any self-sacrificing scene in any movie? That's cliche. That means you like like two movies. And one of them's a documentary about corn. Not terrible, just a very, very boring film with an awful villain. Judging by your rating, it is terrible. T the first DC hero female movie. Total disappointment. First half of the film is about sexualizing and stupidizing the hero. Not needed, people. Felt awkward watching a hero brought so low. As for the villains, ragtag disposables. No or no less. Oh, no more, no less. And pretty predictable. Oh, so boring dialogue. Came to the cinema expected to see the proper birth of a female hero. So much, you, you expected to see a birth? It'd be funny if you like complained afterwards because no one went into labor during the movie. <laughs> I want a free ticket and a large popcorn deal because no one was birthing. I saw at least three preggers in there and not a single one of them had a baby. Spit it out. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> wow, what a huge disappointment. Regardless of what anyone says, the story was weak. Acting was just fine. Although Wonder Woman is beautiful, Gal has too much of a thin, weak, and model-esque physique. However, some good action stunts that became very overused throughout. CGI was, I hate to say, pretty bad, and some fast action motion was amazingly stabby and fake looking. I'm going on a limb and say that the Supes versus the Bat was slightly better than Wonder Woman. Oh, uh, that was really hard to say. <laughs> you're, I bet you're the type of person that yells at whoever you're dating to get back in the kitchen. Stupid movie! You lost me at Created by Clay. Get the fuck out! And put on some damn body armor. You look cheesy from the 40s. What? <laughs> It's weird because it sounded sexist, but like, get out of them dresses and put on some damn armor. Like, I, is that? I don't even know if that's sexist. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's really confusing. I'm confused. Hmm. It was too long and I felt like I was watching the Disney version of Wonder Woman. The original to begin with, she was supposed to be a badass. Very disappointing. She's like the biggest badass out of every DC thing that's been made so far. Do you want like tanks to come out of her boobs? What more do you want? I would like tanks to come out of her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie is so angry that I didn't leave obsessing over this film. I think I have a feminist spy in my midst, LOL. I don't understand how that would make her a spy. If you're assuming that she's a feminist and she told you she was angry with you, how would that, I don't understand how that would make her, she's a shitty spy. She gave herself away immediately. Cassie, you're a shitty spy. Feel good feminist flick. Just cause there's a woman in it. Mad Max Fury Road, action feminist flick. Also half a star for you, for a feel good? You don't want to feel good, do you? <laughs> Very poorly written, sloppy direction, and as for the acting, non-existent. It was real? I'm all for stronger female characters, but this film to me seems more a feminist film where in every scene she is always beating up or dominating men while constantly parading herself as some kind of flawless goddess. Yes, that's exactly what she is in the fucking comics. God. Damn, people are stupid. A very boring movie with ham-fisted female empowerment, forced character moments, tedious action sequences with zero tension, and an overuse of slow-mo. Really poor villains that are underdeveloped with bad plans. Plenty of awkward or cheesy moments and weak acting by Gal Gadot. Some of the jokes land, but it's hit or miss. Man of Steel is still the better DCE. You suck. You suck. <laughs> OMG, we endured Scarlett Johansson in every movie, now seriously another Jewish actress. Wow. Ugh. I hope I never run into this guy ever, because who knows what the fuck I would do. Awful. Very boring movie. I don't know how this movie got 90%. The critics must be 13 and under. Those are the critics on YouTube, not the ones that end up on Rotten Tomatoes. Either that or New York Times has very lax <laughs> child labor laws.
<laughs> Even if they didn't, the Wall Street Journal would come up with some kind of article claiming that the New York Times did. You can't have a feminist movie if you're still objectifying the main character. Except they didn't. And it's really not a feminist movie, it's just Wonder Woman's the main character who happens to be a woman. Also, if you consider when it took place, it's historically accurate. And that was the point. Suck mood dick rotten tomatoes! <laughs> this movie isn't better than Logan or God G. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy? I knew that one. Your reviews is doo doo! <laughs> I really want that to be a superhero's battle cry. It doesn't have to be reviews. It could just be like, your powers is doo-doo. I don't know what the person does. I don't know if like doo-doo comes out of their fingers or what, but someone needs to yell that before they kick the shit out of somebody. Wonder Woman has black hair and blue eyes. She has a tiara boomerang, bulletproof bracelets, and a magical lasso. Linda Carter was the perfect Wonder Woman as Christopher Reeve was the perfect Superman and Jack Nicholson was the perfect Joker. Dark Knight sucked, Man of Steel sucked, and this film by default sucks. Get the character right and you get a hit. Change and do whatever you want with the character, why not make her black, Latino, Asian, and hire an Israeli woman is not Wonder Woman, and as Australian Heath Ledger was not the Joker, and British Henry Cavill is not Superman. These are American pop culture characters, not international characters. Stop changing them to make more international box office. Stay true to their image instead of changing them for demographics. I, for starts, Superman's an alien and not American. Wonder Woman is Amazonian and not American. The Joker is f knows what. <laughs> <laughs> All I can really say to you is don't forget to pick up your dry cleaning because your hood got stained. Went to see Wonder Woman and instead got... Went to see Wonder Woman and instead got directed by Patty Jenkins to watch an impressionable She-Hulk race off in... What? Went to see Wonder Woman and instead got directed by Patty Jenkins to watch an impressionable She-Hulk race off into the movie 300. What? <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us while we read these ridiculously stupid reviews that people did. If you want to see another video from us, click one of the ones on the screen. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button and that like button. And until we see you next time, geek out and game on.